Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking with a video on a SCAR once again, but a different SCAR. So you guys might know that I recently picked up a SCAR 20S. Now real quickly, I will say the first SCAR I ever shot was a 17S. Enjoyed it, it was pretty darn fun. What you see in my hand now is my latest edition, which is, if you could tell by the 30 round mag versus the 20 round, this is a SCAR Lite or the 16S. But nonetheless, this is a 5.56 uh, version of the SCAR. And for the longest time, and I got some people kind of saying this since I got it, but for the longest time, I kind of thought that this was an oddball for a SCAR because whenever I think of a SCAR, I think of a 308 or a 760 by 51. So whenever I heard about a SCAR 16, I thought, well, why wouldn't you just get an AR or an ACR? There's a lot of, you know, non-AR 5.56 rifles out there. And it almost seemed like FN made it just to have the offering, although the SCAR was known for a 760 by 51. Well, I'm saying all this before I even shot it, but just from a quick search on YouTube, I can say that for one, I don't think there's enough content on the 16S. Most of it is about the 17S, which I understand why. But from all the videos I was watching, it just looked like a really fun rifle at the end of the day, and that's what I'm about. I want to correct myself real quickly. A couple videos back, I made a video with this pretty thing. I was making a video with this to talk about the uh, Arkin Optics EP4 and how I said that I thought it was the best scope for under $1,000 for long range precision shooting. Well, I still stand by that, but real quickly I wanted to mention, I got the pricing wrong for some reason. I thought it was $650 and I was saying that on video. Uh, it's actually 600, but it's on sale for 550. So my dyslexic self got all that mixed up. So I still think it's the best uh, scope for under 1,000, but it just happens to be a lot cheaper than I thought it was. And if you want to make a purchase, I'll put the link in the description. And still, the code Texas Plinking gives you free shipping. And another thing is when you're making that purchase, it's kind of weird. If you want to pay with a credit or debit card, you have to select PayPal first, and then from there, it'll say credit or debit card. But just thought I'd say that just in case there's any complications. But anyway, yeah, it's 550, not 650. Thought I'd make that correction real quickly. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, load up some mags, and you guys will see my very first uh, reactions shooting this bad boy. So uh, let's get to it. And once again, I just want to thank ETS for sponsoring the video. Uh, they make all those really cool transparent mags for ARs and handguns, Glocks, P320s now, all kinds of cool stuff. And also speed loaders for 9mm, 40, 5, uh, 5.56, all kinds of cool stuff. Makes uh, the reloading a little bit quicker to get to some more shooting, so let's get to it. All right, first shots ever with uh, a 16S for me. I'm excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get the first impressions out of the way here, and let's talk about the optics because uh, they're pretty sweet. <laughs> It's got the stock trigger, which um, from my first memory with the stock 17, I thought it was a lot heavier. This is actually pretty crisp. Military trigger, so it's still pretty heavy, probably like seven pounds or so, but it's not bad. All right, so like I said, yeah, a lot of that concussion probably won't come off uh, on camera, but it really makes a pop, and that is all due to that guy right there. That muzzle brake really drags gases off to the side, which is good for recoil reduction for sure, but uh, yeah, it really, really makes a, uh, a loud bang. So a lot to do with that. Of course, you could just change that out. It's the threaded barrel. I might put an AAC adapter on there just so I could run it suppressed because it's got the uh, gas little valve right here to where I could go suppressed or unsuppressed. Real quickly, I noticed as well, just like the 20, it's got a 45 degree throw ambidextrous um, safety and fire selector. Let's talk about the optics because uh, this red dot is one that I don't think I've ever seen once on YouTube, but maybe Sig Sauer made a quick video with it, but I have not seen anything with it. But this is the Romeo 8H, uh, really freaking cool red dot sight, let me tell you. And I figured why not, uh, just in case I wanna stretch it out a little bit today, I've got the Vortex 3X Micro magnifier, and that actually pairs up really, really nicely, and I'm enjoying that quite a bit. But this is not a holographic sight, it is a red dot sight at the end of the day for how they work, they're pretty different. But yeah, it is a red dot sight. Um, so real quickly, the controls we have uh, up and down, brightness, dimming, uh, it powers on by pressing one of those to turn it off, you hold down the dimmer, for like four or five seconds or so. I forgot what the exact time was, but just hold it down, it'll turn off. If you hold both buttons down at the same time for a couple of seconds, it'll actually cycle through the four different reticles you have. You have a simple red dot sight, which gives you the best battery life. Uh, it takes a 123A battery, by the way. Um, but you have a simple red dot, a red dot with the circle around it, uh, kind of like the known as the donut of death. 
you have multiple dots to where it's the first dot and then bullet drop compensation and then multiple dots with the little ring. Um, so yeah, those are your four options. So it's pretty cool. You could cycle through that. With a flat head or brass casing, you can go ahead and adjust uh, half an MOA to the left or right windage here and then half MOA for elevation on the top there. Right side of it is where the battery goes right here and then you tighten it up to the rail right there. So yeah, pretty quick and easy to work. It's not sighted in perfectly for the smaller target, but as you can see, I could kind of fire them off decently quickly. I'm not trying to shoot as fast as I can. I'm trying to keep it relatively on target, but. I think the next time I show this off, I'll put my AAC adapter on there and run it suppressed. And uh, heck, let's compare it to an AR and the ACR. That'd be kind of fun comparison. Charging handle. It's cool that you have a charging handle here. It changes it up from the you know, usual AR-15 stuff. However, this one is reciprocating, which means each time it shoots, this thing is flying back. Uh, where I put my hand right here, not a problem at all. But uh, if for some reason you forget and you have your hand right here, that's gonna be a really bad day for your thumb. As far as this red dot sight, let me give a little bit more mention to that since I have more impressions with it. But yeah, again, Romeo 8H, supplied from Optics Planet. Uh, so this sucker right here, like I said, it is the sharpest reticle I personally have seen. Maybe your guys' eyes are the same, you guys would agree, but I mean, by far too. Like it is absolutely razor sharp crisp. The kicker on this is it is expensivo. It is about $499 and nine, let's call it 500 bucks. It's 500 bucks. That said though, I think it is worth it. It seems like it's built to last. It seems like an awesome uh, optic. I mean, you get four in one with the reticle if you kind of look at it that way. Only gripe I would say is uh, at that price, I would expect like a QD detachment and attachment point. All right, before I put some more rounds to the 16S, a couple of videos back, you guys might remember that I said that with the frequency I'm making videos and all of the time it's like new guns, it kind of leaves guns that I made videos on a long time ago, even like a year ago, they don't really get a whole lot of attention on the YouTube channel. I'll show them on Instagram, but not so much on YouTube. So although the video is about the 16S, I'll kind of co-feature a gun real quickly. And because I don't show shotguns too often on this channel for some reason, this is my Remington 870 pump action 12 gauge shotgun, specifically the Marine Magnum. I added this little rail here. We've got five in the tube and uh, let's get some impressions. And I say that because another reason I wanted to show this off is because I added this little recoil pad here. Uh, Falcon Strike actually sent me out a, this recoil pad uh, and it should reduce the recoil. Of course, a 12 gauge can pack a little bit of a punch, um, but this is like the equivalent of a muzzle brake to a rifle. Adding this recoil pad to a shotgun should reduce the recoil quite a bit and uh, should make for a quicker follow-up shots and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's been a while with this guy, but right away I could tell recoil impulse is actually quite a bit different. That does make quite a bit of difference. And that's considering the Remington 870 actually comes with a really, really nice soft recoil pad right out of the get-go. This one does seem to behave a little bit flatter now that it's on there. Let's see. Just so I could use the magnifier a little bit more, give me a little bit more of a feel for it. One thing I'm excited about is shooting this thing suppressed because like the ACR, once you throw a suppressor on there with the adjustable gas system, it becomes a really flat, docile, soft shooter. Um, and this one with the heavier bolt and shooting unsuppressed with that brake, it's a, it's a very flat shooting gun. It's quick to get back on target, but it's definitely a, a big bang for just a little 5.56. All right, well, I think that'll just about do it for this one. However, I do have plans, like I said, to show this off quite a bit more this month alone, uh, comparing it to an ACR and uh, AR-15, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that's that. 
Jeez, even letting that go is loud. That's a heavy bolt. But yeah, again, a thanks to Optics Planet for supplying the SIG Romeo 8H for me to kind of test out and evaluate. And uh, you guys will be seeing more of that, I'm sure. I'll be throwing that on some other builds because it is a really cool uh, optic. Like I said, 500 bones is a good chunk of money. Uh, not denying that. Um, as it goes, though, I'm really, really happy with it. I like it quite a bit. It's performing as uh, I would expect a red dot, but really, really pleasurable to look through and shoot through uh, with the Micro 3X quick detach here. Um, these pair up really, really nicely. These are these are a lot of fun. And then, of course, thanks to Falcon Strike for letting me test out the hydraulic recoil reduction system. Uh, yeah, as it goes, this is really, really nice. 12 gauge can kick quite a bit, actually. Uh, the factory Remington 870 pad here is actually really, really good, but this definitely takes it to another level. Makes it a little bit more uh, tolerable to shoot if you're wanting to hunt, be quick with it, or kind of get other people shooting um, that maybe don't handle recoil as well. Um, then there's that. I know some people might mock it saying that I was talking about a recoil reduction system. Um, but in this case, uh, for a shotgun, for a, maybe a duty a shotgun, like an 18-inch barrel truck gun or whatever, if it makes you a little bit quicker, then that's pretty cool. But uh, overall, just a little bit flatter shooting. Ugh. And then lastly, like I said, the Arcan Optics EP4 was $100 cheaper than I thought it was in the review of it. So my bad, but it is $549 on sale right now. Free shipping with the code Texas Plinking. Leak in... Leak link in the description that will just about do it for this video thank you guys oh so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time take care